Well, good Saturday evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Um, it is, I'm winding down to California here. Um, it's Saturday evening, spent some time getting some uh, Korean barbecue, something I've never done before. And, uh, you know, it's cooked right there at your table. You got all kinds of different flavors and everything else. It was definitely a different good experience, be that as it may. I'm back here because we're going to be talking about a practice game tomorrow. Not, not, not a real game. Not, 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 not the real game. We're going to be talking about a practice game. And with this practice game, there's a lot of people out there that are needing to show up and show off and to give you some hope and reasons to continue the path that you're going with those players. And this is hard because even the 54th player on an NFL roster is still a great player. Do you realize how many people play Little League football versus high school football? And all those high school players, how many players in your high school team went on to play college football? I'm just asking for a friend. And for those of you out there that have made it and played on college football teams, how many of those college players have made it to the pros? We're talking about the very best of the best. So as we start talking about people being bums, you're a long ways off. Because I, as Denzel Washington says, those who can do, those who can't, Talk about those who can. So can you or can you not? One of those ones that we're trying to find out if they can or not is Trey Lance. Trey Lance going in tomorrow. We're almost a year away from where the Cowboys traded for him. He actually played the first two preseason games for the San Francisco 49ers before the Dallas Cowboys had the blockbuster fourth round trade for him. Now, the interesting thing is the Cowboys actually did a lot of trading last year. Because we also had two fifth-round picks that we traded to for Brandon Cooks and Stephon Gilmore. And, of course, the number four for Trey Lance. At the time, it, well, I, I want to talk to how we got here with this whole situation. Because at the time, the special speculation was this is a guy that's going to be taking Dak Prescott's place. A lot of people thinking that this was the driver for Jerry Jones to basically make Dak take a team-friendly deal to stay in Dallas because we got your replacement right here. And right now, we're at the point of it's a long shot for him to take Cooper Rush's spot. Let me take you guys back, if I can, to Jerry Jones and the press conference of explaining exactly what they were going to do. What the acquisition of Trey Lance means for this team this season, but then also going forward after this year. Well, he gives us an opportunity to do uh, what we would always like to be doing. Uh, it would be ideal with uh, uh, Dak <clears throat> to have a young, prospective, developing quarterback that could uh, uh, just be in the room, uh, be, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to use the term, but be on the team with him uh, because uh, 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 this gives him not only an opportunity to take, uh, I'm talking Trace, not only Trey what he got in San Francisco, but he can take, in my mind, one of the, quarter, one of the finest quarterback rooms there is because Dak Prescott's in it. Dak Prescott's finest quality for me is how he takes what he does in the classroom and takes it to the practice field. So this really was in our mind very much that he was going to be coming into this situation with Dak. Again, uh, we didn't waste any time. Yeah, it certainly uh, didn't the, waste any time. The minute, Listen to this uh, here. This is uh, key. That we knew that they were serious about trading him, uh, then we didn't want the phone to hang up. and. Uh, uh, we did it uh, the equivalent of yesterday, and so uh, uh, we uh, okay. felt good let, let about let him. Let me stop there for a second. The moment we found out that they were going to trade him, because you know he had done so many incredible things on the field already, that we did not want to let the phone hang up. 
And see, this is how, you know, Jerry Jones has got this mentality of deadlines make deals get done. That That's his philosophy. In other words, I'm going to wait to the last minute and we're just going to get it done however we get it done. And you have to understand that San Francisco really didn't want, doesn't want to trade with the Cowboys. They don't like the Cowboys. But the Cowboys offered so much. And I want to say that if you think about where we are right now, and earlier we're hearing some rumors the Cowboys could be interested in Miles Sanders or uh, Dalvin Cook, you know, and we, we got Micah Parsons, you know, lining up at running back and things. You know, if we had that fourth round pick, there were a lot of the top running backs sitting right there at four that we could have drafted. Yeah. So when you think about that, you gave up a lot. You gave up a lot. But let's go a little bit deeper here. Because this is where it's really like when he answers this question, maybe he doesn't really know. But if the team doesn't know, then we got a problem. From a value about him in the valuation that we had for him in the draft. We felt good about uh, what we've seen on tape that he's done since he's been in the NFL. And it was one that uh, we just uh, – made the decision almost the minute we heard the name and uh, uh, let's get him. When you talk to your front office, your other front office people, your scouts, what did they say about why it didn't work out for him in San Francisco? Well, they didn't know. They're, they didn't know why it didn't work out. Yeah. What, why well, it didn't why work did, out yeah, for why, him? Yeah. They wouldn't know that. Uh, well, were you surprised now, San, that he Francisco, was on... San Francisco right. might know that and their scouts might know it and uh, to <laughs> some degree, but ours uh, ours uh, wouldn't. I thought that uh, uh, John did a great job the other night on their game. I watched their preseason game, and I thought he did a good job talking about uh, uh, just the nature of why they uh, uh, made the decision they made. Uh, but uh, I'm going to just leave Jerry right there because you had a guy who was drafted in the first round with not one, not two, but three first-round picks, as well as, I think, a third, who a quarterback whisperer coach gave up on. And you don't know why he failed, but you say, I got to get that guy. So this is one of the things I say is, you know, people say, oh, let's just get rid of Dak and start all over. We made the move for Trey Lance. He wanted Johnny Manziel. We got Quincy Carter. We had Ryan Leaf here. So how do you know that we're going to be able to find another quarterback? But one other thing here, because this was the gamble that Jerry took. And a year ago, a year ago, this is what the pundits were saying. Just listen to this right here in LA last year mm -hmm. Cooper Rush did his thing you got a great backup you got a great starter that third quarterback in every team if you have the perfect quarterback situation is the project quarterback that you're working on that you won't let it see the field for another three to four years that's what Trey Lance is guys nothing more and I hear everybody oh we go what would the, the Cowboys treated Trey Lance what does that mean for Dak Prescott it means absolutely nothing it means he has a great young pupil that he can impart some knowledge to that when this project gets ready to play he, he, he can do some things and that's four years away from now mm. so stop trying to put a virus in the head mm -hmm. of my guys in that com in, in that locker room <laughs> in their computer trying to say oh what trades here for that and people can start getting in these little corners and talk about when that make a mad, bad, bad decision or intercepts we should go with trade stop saying that people stop mm. it don't let the rhetoric get to you Trey is not a threat to that but it's a great pickup for the Dallas Cowboys. I will expand on that great later pick on. It, it may not be a threat right now, though, Michael. Today, Dak Prescott's missed a lot of time. 33 games in the last three seasons he's played in. Right. Okay. So when you look at that, right. in two years of $65 million left, how much of that is guaranteed, this is why I'm saying this. When you talk about four years from now, mm -hmm. he's missed time. And you know how these things yeah. are. When a guy gets hurt and somebody else comes in and he starts to play, well, I know I don't want to go Drew Bledsoe. I don't want to go Drew Bledsoe, right, right, Tom right, right. Brady, but I am. Right. Mm -hmm. I got to. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you look up 
And this guy has, light has turned on because Coach McCarthy and them are doing the right things. And you almost saw it with Cooper Rush last year. Mm -hmm. Almost. But he mm -hmm. couldn't get them where they needed to. So they had to go back to Dak Prescott. The offense was still going and muttering along. It was going. It was going. But it was, was, going, going. Mm -hmm. but it was a Cooper Rush game plan. Right. Once they deviated away from that and went back to Dak Prescott, Dak had, Dak had his issues. Right. Now, Trey Lance was the yeah, number three pick overall for a reason. Okay, because he could play. He just couldn't play in San Francisco in the situation he was in. Kept I, getting I hurt. Agree. Kept agree. getting hurt. Kept getting hurt. So they said, okay, they moved on from him. You picked this guy up as a fourth round pick. You picked Boy, Trey Lance up. Great, great play. Great call. It's great a call. Great, great call. Great, great, great now you got to keep Dak healthy. Okay? You keep him healthy, the rest is history. For whatever reason, you open up that door. What is it, Wally Pip? Is that him? Wally Pip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wally Pip. You yeah. open up that door for this dude to slide in. It's amazing. No, it does not. It's amazing. Playmaker. It's amazing. You know, you know good and well if this dude does anything and Dak all of a sudden, and I'm not saying Dak throws an interception, they like all of a sudden go to the number two or number three guy. I'm not saying that. Right, right, right. I'm talking about injury. When a guy is injured, and somebody else is mm -hmm. playing better, you know how these coaches get. And what is it that Jerry so desperately wants to do right now? Try to finish strong and win a championship. Well, well, let's go. Unfortunately, we didn't do that at the end of last season. So you're saying you could see at some point that no. Trey Lance will be the starting quarterback. No, no, no. If, no. if, if Dak was to get injured, right. okay. he's been injured right, in the right, past. Right, 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 Trey right, gets right, right, right. And if Trey gets his shot, shot, and if he, mm -hmm. if he gets that shot and he plays the way that he was drafted that to play. You have seen nothing. Just, you have seen I, I, nothing. Okay. nothing to indicate. You have that, seen that is very, Michael, in that Michael, area. that is true. You have seen nothing. But let's now, not say now. it's not a One threat more because it's not true. Now, now, well, let's let's, let's, let's true. deal in facts. Let's deal in facts. Let's We're going to deal in facts. facts. They can't get out of Dak's deal anytime soon. Trey Lance is on a first round contract in two years. He, they're going to have that option to we bring up. They're not, to go to they, they're they didn't not pick up the option. Up the the option. They're not accepting his option. They're not going to pick up his option if he's not the starter. So he got two years. You got two years. You're talking about a four year plan. You got two. You got two to make a decision on Trey Lance before you got to pay him big time money. And you're not paying him big time money if he's not the starter. So Dak, in go. two years, still has $36 million in dead money. So if you want to get rid of Dak in two years, in not, 2025, then you gotta cut him whoa, and eat thirty six well, million. It's, it's, it's actually not cut it. it you, you just he's gonna walk. But the point being here is Trey Lance does not have a deal after the season. So did we really throw a fourth round draft pick, which is one of the bigger picks that you uh, have had and used in recent history here, um, away? Because this, the longer it goes. The worse this trade looks. Now, again, Trey Lance, it's up to you, buddy. If you turn it around, you know, show up and show off. Best thing that could happen for the Cowboys is that you look really, really good. And give them hope of you maybe being um, the eventual backup. But, again, the problem is, is somebody, it's a catch-22. If he plays well, somebody else is going to look at him and say, yeah, we could sign that guy. And then you're in a bidding war for a guy that you already gave up a fourth round draft pick for. So not one of the best moves that the Cowboys have made. But I will say this year we have extra, four extra draft picks. And the Cowboys were a little loose trading three picks last year. Maybe, just maybe, we could see them doing a few things this year. <laughs> Brother can hope, can he? All right, good people. I'll see you all later. Peace. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport, the thrill of victory, and the agony of defeat. The human drama of athletic competition. This is ABC's Wide World of Sports. Brought to you by Lincoln Mercury. Nobody has more kinds of cars or more kinds of people. See them at the sign of the cat. By Goodyear, makers of the custom steel guard radial tire. And by State Farm Mutual. Almost anywhere you live, there's a State Farm agent nearby. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs>